If you haven't guessed it already, I'm a pretty big fan of All Saints Windows, but like every corporation, uh, Windows does a few things that benefit them. In this case, Microsoft has put icons on your initial start menu that if you click on them, will automatically start installing the app on your system. If you don't recognize an icon and click on it to see more, you might see this progress bar indicating that the item is being installed. A quick trip to your library will confirm that, in fact, it's installing. The good news is that you're not buying anything. It's simply installing the app, and then the first time you run it, it will probably lead you through a process to buy a subscription for that application. Yes, the dreaded subscription model, where you can only use their software if you can continually pay them for it year after year. So I've already done this with Adobe Lightroom, and now if I click on it after it's installed, it'll bring up the application. And sure enough, when it launches, uh, after you get past the initial screen, it's going to try to make you sign in or register with a new account so you can subscribe to their service. So Corel is installed by now, so let's go back and we'll try to run it and see what happens with it. And sure enough, it comes up and there we are, nice little hello screen telling you all about it. And that you can go ahead and just click on get started and you can get started, right? Nope. Not until you've subscribed for one year or a monthly service. There are advantages with the apps over desktop programs. An app automatically updates instead of you having to check every so often for patches. That also usually solves compatibility problems with changes to the operating system. But many times you can find the same exact software somewhere else on the web. Here it is at Amazon. This is the pro version, the ultimate version for 99. If you go down further, there's the regular or... Uh, not so expensive ones, buy it forever for $79. And sometimes manufacturers offer older, like the 2021 instead of the 2022 version, at a discounted price to get rid of their inventory. The good news is that even if you've installed it and not signed up for anything, you can just simply right-click on it to uninstall. For example, here's one I haven't clicked on yet. I can uninstall it from there. You can also scroll down your menu find anyone else. Here's one here that I'll uninstall, right-click, Say uninstall, and you're good to go. If you by any chance to go ahead and install something, just go back to your store, go down to the library down there, scroll down this list till you find it, and then uninstall it from there. Now, it's a little inconvenient, but fortunately, there's not a lot of cleanup to do afterwards. For example, here's the two samples I did. I'm just go down here and click on uninstall there. It's going to ask me if I really want to uninstall, and boom, in a few seconds, it goes away. Uh, now Adobe, I'm going to go over here, do the same thing. It's going to ask me again, and now they're gone. And by the way, if they sign you up for a free trial that uh, they just want your credit card so they can charge you after the free trial, uh, be very careful about that because you'll end up spending some money you didn't really want to. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. And if you want some more, please subscribe to the Yo Guy Geek and click on the bell to get notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.